another point you might have noticed i have also discussed about the budgetary control budget how to control the budget because without budgetary control there is no asset purchase generally in the corporate or in the client so internal order if you remember internal order budget internal order or investment order internal order or investment order budget you can load from q22 wbs related budget you can load in cj30 okay then we have one more concept is there two three you can combine your investment order and wbs both combinedly you can also do the budgeting okay that investment order and wbs that you can do from the im52 so whenever you are in auc process what you are doing you are booking the budget in the uh, sorry you 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 are per, you are booking the cost in the cost object and from cost object you are settling to auc and you are settling to final asset but but listen here but let's say you are directly purchasing asset let's say final asset let's say you want to purchase final asset one plant you want to purchase from the external vendor you want to purchase one plan from the external vendor and let's say uh, let's say uh, for that to track that plan to have created one internal order or one wbs or one investment order and in that some budget is loaded in that some budget is loaded now how you can handle the budget because when you're purchasing from the external vendor listen here very carefully without this you don't have asset accounting knowledge and this is where 99% fresher don't have knowledge and i immediately understand they are not well trained and they are fresher because in real time asset accounting is altogether different you might have noticed what i have been training to you people so when you purchase from the external vendor from t code f.90 what generally you pass in simple you pass asset account debit to vendor account in simple now when you are purchasing let's say this asset you are purchasing worth of rupees 1 lakh rupees or 10000 10000 you are purchasing now budget is given let's say just 10000 rupee budget given what if user is entering trying to purchase more than 10000 how will you control it how will you control it in auc scenario it is very easy because in auc scenario expenses you are booking in the internal order so you have loaded the budget in the internal order or in, in the investment order or in the wbs so it was throwing the budget error but now here you are not booking expenses then settling to auc then settling to final asset here directly you are purchasing the final asset so this is the general entry post asset account debit to vendor account so how will you control the budget how will you make sure that you are not posting more than what is budgeted requirement is clear first of all requirement is clear yes no hello yes, yes sir requirement is clear right to everyone hello yes no please reply quickly yes sir yes sir it's clear yeah now so to control this one you have to follow certain step step number 1 create either one internal order r1 wbs r1 investment order same like that create plus only and the create one i am giving one example of internal order create the internal order 
up to here any doubt you go and create one internal order in ko01 is there any issue no right no second step create asset master whatever asset you are going to purchase create one asset master s01 third number in the asset master you have to assign this internal order for which you have loaded the budget so assign internal order in asset master as01 or 2 during creation time also you can give or after creation also you can give up to here is there any doubt no sir anybody has any doubt ask me quickly no no yes no, no please reply yeah because no. i'm this is very important that's the reason i'm making sure that you are understanding now next option is very critical you have to go to fs00 make this asset on which you want to check the budget for this asset let's say are purchasing plant plant related whatever reconciliation gl you have used in ao90 go in the fs00 make apc gl age statistical cost element you might have never heard what is called statistical cost element statistical cost element statistical cost element category is 90 so for that particular line item for for that particular gl that asset gl you have to make as a statistical cost element i'll tell you where you have to do that go to fs00 what is the use of this one listen very carefully if you don't make the gl asset gl as a cost statistical cost element then internal order will not derive in this line item when you purchase when you purchase the asset internal order will not derive in this line item if it is not deriving in this line item then budget will not work to make budget work that internal order on which you have loaded the budget that should come in that particular line item then only sap will understand that for this asset this is the internal order and in this internal order this is the budget loaded so derive this internal order because this is the cost object and cost object generally comes in the cost element but cost element we generally don't create for the balance sheet have you ever heard for balance sheet you have to create the cost element it is only for pnl right hello yes no please reply quickly hello yes, sir yes. cost element we create for pnl line item but yes. here budgetary you are going to control at the balance sheet line item and in balance sheet line item you want to derive the cost object that in internal order so sap has given solution make that particular gl as a statistical cost element or you have to choose here cost element category 90 then that cost element cost element that gl is known as a statistical cost element what does it mean meaning that you cannot do the settlement that is the meaning now this is what you have to make sure until unless you do this one your budgetary control will not work so now go here in the fs00 go to here take your plant and machinery this one go to your control data come here back and tick this one record account assignment tick this one if you tick this one then this gl will become as a statistical cost element where you can check sc16n you know the table cskb give this gl give your controlling area run it see cost element category 90 it is picking cost element category 90 it will pick see it is not showing here here it is there statistical cost element for balance sheet account 
इज इट क्लियर हेलो यस नो यस तो दिस काइंड ऑफ कॉस्ट एलिमेंट इज नोन एज ए स्टैटिस्टिकल कॉस्ट एलिमेंट दिस जनरली इज रिक्वायर ओनली फॉर टू काइंड ऑफ जीएल वन फॉर एसेट जीएल वन फॉर इन्वेंटरी जीएल मेटेरियल जीएल बिकॉज एंड मेटेरियल आल्सो यू डू द बजटिंग एंड फॉर एसेट आल्सो यू डू द बजटिंग सो ओनली फॉर द मेटेरियल रिलेटेड जीएल एंड फॉर द एसेट रिलेटेड जीएल यू हैव टू एक्टिवेट दिस वन and this option will not come for all the gl this is also very critical listen here very carefully this option will not come for all the gl see if i go here it may not come here okay so it is coming here but it may not come for all the gl let's say here bank in coming see here for this it is not coming can you see see it is not coming for this one so how system is recognizing once you assign the gl in the ao90 then only system will understand okay it is asset related gl then this pop up will appear here or once you assign any inventory gl in the obyc there is one setting called obyc if you set assign there then system will understand okay i am inventory gl so user may use this one so it will automatically get open here let's create one more Let's. I am going to create one more GL two. I am copying two. Let's say this is for the vehicle. Let's say vehicle account. Go here. See, even I have selected as an asset, but still that option is not coming. now it is very critical for the data migration team how data migration team will do how they will choose this one when they while creating that option itself is not coming and without the gl how will map in the ao90 you are understanding cut contradictory statement if you don't assign in ao90 this option will not come and if you don't create this gel then how will map in ao90 let me first create and map in ao90 then you'll understand take this one go to ao90 for vehicle we have created i think some cost this is our account determination come here map here give here gl save it come back here go back again come back fs00 come here vehicle now come here see now it is appearing is it clear yes or no reply quickly Yes, Please, uh, whether yes, this GL account should be a balance sheet account or uh, it could be a P and L also. Always balance sheet account. Oh, Ravi, thank you, Ravi, you joined. Yeah. Is it clear this one? Very important. Ninety-nine percent they will not answer in the interview. And without this, budgetary control will never work in asset accounting. If you say that I have worked in budgetary control, either WBS internal order, investment order, whatsoever. No, you have not worked. Maybe because this until you activate this one, it will not work. Is it clear, everyone? First of all, let's say let's say this is I am considering as a as a in inventory GL. See, this is not coming. So once I map this GL in the let's say I, as of now it is bank GL, but let's say it is my inventory GL. Once I go and map in the OBYC setup, there is something called OBYC. You learn very soon. here is one inventory will be there inventory posting here once i map here then only this G, this gl will have that one come back fs00 come here come here see here it is coming now is it clear everyone 
so sure. you may sure. get surprise you want to tick this one but it is not appearing so you have to know in which condition it will appear and when you will tick when you want to control the budget in that particular line item so generally it will work for inventory and asset related is it clear yes no yes sir okay so will you be able to practice one cycle will you be able to practice 